what if I told you there is an entire online world that you have never seen, hidden from the search engines we use every day. Yes, this unsafe internet made our life very easy and beautiful. Like we can order our food to our sitting spot from Zometo or Swiggy. We can easily buy our favorite products from one country to another by Flipkart or Amazon. Also, data predicts that top OTT platforms like Netflix Prime can replace our movie theaters or we have Yax and Instagram for debate and advertisement. But the hidden reality is All this good side of the internet is only about 4% and the 96% of the internet is hidden and this 96% controlled by hackers, big so-called politicians, big corporates, gangsters, many more. Sadly, lakhs of students, young adults and under 18 years old girls are trapped in this with their curiosity and other reasons. As easily we are ordering food, there they are ordering weapons, drugs and selling human organs. Here we are watching all types of movies, but there they are watching the cruel torture videos of people. And this is the golden spot for terrorists, hackers, murderers and gangsters for making deals. If you don't want to get into this trap, then watch this video till the end to burn your curiosity and understanding the reality. Before entering, understanding the stages of internet is very important. As a stages, we can see open or surface web, deep web and dark web. Let's see what is mean by open web. On the open or surface level, we can see all the web content that is indexed by search engines like Google and Bing. Examples, online shopping, blog websites, OTT platforms, YouTube, games and many more. But this is only 4 to 10% of the whole internet. Next, deep web. Like for example, WhatsApp or email. Without any login credentials, we cannot access to our inbox or chat page, right? Yes, in simple terms, basically we need some password or login credentials to consume the content of the source. This is all about deep web. Next, the king which can do anything. It's dark web. The dark web might sound like a mysterious part of the internet and it's true in many ways. It's a highly private internet word hidden from the regular search engines, which means we cannot access in the normal search engines like Google or Bing. It is similar to the deep web, but in the deep web, we can access our consumed content through the normal search engines through password or login credentials. But all this not required in the dark web. To communicate here or enter this hidden word, users relay on this special browser called Tor. Tor browser isolates each website you visit so third party trackers and ads can't follow you. In simple terms, if we send a message from India to US in normal browsers, it connects one particular network to another directly. But in Tor, it is not like that. In the middle, it will travel to multiple networks to avoid trackers and send the targeted message to the source. In the Tor, the URL looks something like this. In the normal websites, we can see .com, but here .onion. If you want to know more about Tor browser, check out this video, link is there in the description. In simple terms, the dark web is nothing more about which is used to communicate privately and hide our identity and work. But the things are not as simple as we think here. As of January 2023, according to data of Statista, 70% of adults globally don't know how the dark web functions. But without a doubt, the reputation of the dark net is terrible. Yes, this is not an illegal place, but lakhs of people are involved in the illegal activities. Like credit card scams, illegal drug supplies, hacking banks, kidnapping, murders, pornography, child trafficking and Yes, before entering here, 
please think it twice my suggestion is that this is not a right place for us if you pressed any wrong link in the wrong site then no one can save you then you may ask why still dark web is exist in the real world yes there are many reasons some of the top government agencies and top private security agencies some of the journalists are used to communicate privately by the way through the normal browsers also you can get tracked to get protected yourself please follow these steps first step don't follow any dark websites step 2 follow these points like protect your personal information verify urls avoid unknown links maintain real world ethics mainly my suggestion is don't press any unknown links or cross check or verify the urls yes till now we discussed about what is dark web stages of internet the risk involved in the dark web and how people are using the dark web then what's the future of dark web the dark web is not going away anytime soon in fact it's evolving on one hand law enforcement agencies around the world are getting better at tracking down criminals we have seen massive takedowns like silk road and alpha bay but on the other hand the tech behind the dark web is getting more advanced and here is the real story not too long ago a major illegal drug marketplace called alpha bay was taken down by fbi but within a month new site popped up even more secure but here is where it gets tricky it's not all bad the dark web also has the side that fighting for good journalists and other people's countries with strict rules use it to communicate safely and share informations and protect their freedom imagine you are in the country where speaking out can be get you jailed then dark web can be a lifeline so in future we might see more and more ethical uses of dark web especially in the place where freedom of speech is not allowed but we will also continue to see dark side of the dark web more cyber attacks pornography child trafficking illegal weapon supply illegal markets and many more and finally it's up to us to stay safe and stay informed hello everybody thanks for watching please consider my effort if you find this video useful and informative and subscribe to my channel to get more content like this also like this video to spread this informative content with your nearby friends